Guys, today we were, I swear, gonna start working on the house again. But last night, a really scary slash crazy thing happened. Alyssa started the hot tub. We had actually gone to an estate auction just to see what those are all about. And we got home, she started the hot tub. And she said, hey, could you just add a little bit of wood? So I did. And then this happened. It's kind of hard to hear because it was a little bit dark and I was shooting with my iPhone. But I was in the corner of our deck in terror. All I thought was, what the frick is that? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's got to be hornets. So I was like, Alyssa, you have to come out here. We have to find this nest because I am not going in the hot tub. No way until we find out what this nest is and what in the world is attacking our water bottles. Jesse said the nest was this big. And then we looked at it and he's like, well, maybe not that big, but I think it's pretty big. So we want to see what it looks like in the daytime on camera so you guys can like experience it with us. And I wore long sleeves and pants. Jesse didn't. Jesse's very confident we're not going to disturb the hornet nest. Guys, I don't tell fish stories. I said it's like the size of the crock pot. We were going to deal with this last night. And I was like, no, we should probably wait until today. So now, instead of, first of all, we have to rescue our hot tub because it's uncovered. And we don't want to leave it uncovered. But I am not going up there until this hornet's nest is dealt with. And two, our water bottles are up there. Well, we've been going up there. So, Clearly, yeah. this isn't an overnight build. I don't think they built this yesterday. We've been building this as long as we've been building our house. And we've been fine, but why? Yeah. Like, our Somehow, have been inches from that nest without disturbing it's it. It's like by the steps. So somehow we have gone this long and not pissed off these hornets, but it's pretty good size. We're not gonna win any awards or records oh, for hornets nests. No. Are you going? Yeah, we're gonna switch to this camera because okay. we can get really close. So Alyssa is gonna help I'm going in, guys. see what it is. Well, I wanna figure out first what kind of hornet it is, yeah. and that'll help us to determine whether if it's something we can deal with or we should hire someone to deal with it. Here. Oh yeah, she's a beauty. Oh, I see you brought the long lens I think too. I'm get closer. You should you can get clear up to these bushes right here easy. Yeah, okay. In fact, you could probably get up to the edge of the deck. I don't think they're going to sting you. I don't think I that's don't think that's a good measurement of risk. I'm kind of wondering if they're plotting a takeover of our DIY cedar hot tub. Oh, I can see it fine. Holy wow. macaroni, there's so many. Oh my goodness, golly. No wonder they were mad. Wow. So what did we do last night? Like any sane American. We went to YouTube and watched endless oh God. hornet nest removal videos and we also watched what happens when you try to remove them and you fail and you get the living snot stung out of you. Seemed like a good American thing to do. So I think our options, we feel that now that we're aware of this, never mind that it's been here for months, we feel like it has to get removed today. People on YouTube do it. I don't know what would go wrong. I mean I imagine we want to be thick uh, and maybe some like I think there's called jet spray or something. It's like a, a spray for hornets that goes pretty far. We do have to remove it. I'd say that's not safe there. Not an option. Because we're going up there. Like, I can't even imagine nope. if one of our friend's kids was over and went up there. Just, oh my God. That. Um, so we're going to like put on our thinking caps and come to a conclusion. I know what you guys are thinking. A, get the flamethrower. That's a YouTube thing and it's our hot tub deck and it's summer. So no, we're not going to get the flamethrower. Two, no, no, we're not going to get the shotgun. It's our hot tub deck. You can't just go shooting every hornet's nest. The bad thing is we actually do try to live in harmony with nature. Like early, if I would have known this nest or noticed this nest early in the year, I would have probably just knocked it down and said, hey, go make a home elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, take a hike guys. That said, Maybe this is a good time for just a moment here to show you a couple of beautiful nests that are not currently being occupied by horrible insects. Is there a hornet's nest in here? There is. And I hope it's, it's unoccupied. unoccupied. So we put in this like mesh stuff, right? The, the, the insect mesh. They get through everything. Right? Doesn't that make you worried about our cold roof? There's a beautiful example oh, of wow. a paper wasp. Hold on, let me get it on the other camera. Sounds good. That's a beautiful example. If I would have found that hornet's nest when it was that size, I would have removed it and just sent them on their way and said, hey. Wow. And then next to it, we have a like a wasp nest. Oh, no way. I never saw that one. I was too busy looking at the paper wasp. Man, these little farts are just, oh, there's a one clear over here too. 
My gosh. Well, <laughs> We're getting run overrun by these things, man. I think that one's unoccupied, so I'm just gonna leave it and we won't bother them. So now what? Garage. There's one in oh, really? the garage, but it's not occupied that I can tell. I've been a little nervous about having the roof sips on, but yeah. not having any roofing and all that stuff sealed in. Not in so much because of the rain, but more because of all the insects. Yep. They certainly made their home quickly in the electrical chases of our sips. And uh, I've seen swallows flying in and out of the windows in the upper loft oh, level. Yeah. So I was worried that they're just making a home in the loft. Right there. That one's pretty, that one's a lot bigger. That one's probably double the size of the one in the battery box. There's a good chance that one's actually active. And I think the, um, the one under the hot tub it. deck is probably five, six times bigger than that. At least. That's Eight probably, times bigger than that. I, That's like a... A small, a small apple. That's a tennis ball, yeah, an apple. I think it's highly likely that this nest in the garage happened before we put the garage doors on. Um, you know, we had a really hot spring. We always oh, seems like everything's been hot. Um, but we got the garage doors on and I think that's reduced the amount of insect intrusion in the garage. We do still have a few uh, yellow jackets that we're having to chase out. We're trying to just chase them out, but they are stubborn and persistent, so we've been kind of losing that battle. All right, so that's the problem we're up against today. So forklift and house build is on hold, hornet nest and potentially dying from stings is on top of the priority list. Are we gonna try uh, to build a shop vac hornet nest obliterator? So I think we're gonna have to go look at our options. If you guys haven't already caught on, this is a part of country life we're ill-equipped for. It is, this we, is living this, in the country. This was new, like yellow jackets, I mean, everybody kind of knows how to deal with those. When I cleaned the truck the other day, I probably knocked out a dozen nests because they just go bonkers around. And the backhoe, oh God, don't even get me started on the backhoe. They get in everything. They're by the ignition switch, the throttle, the bucket thing. God, like they're Noah's Ark or everywhere. Something. Okay, so time to head to the city. Hmm. This seems like the passive aggressive method. Maybe if we buy all of them. This one seems bigger. Says it traps hornets. Based on these photos, I'm guessing it's a wasp. Hmm. Do we want to spray chemicals all over our property? No. Do we want to get stung by a hornet or a wasp? No. So we definitely have the spray the thing and kill the thing under control. But what we're wondering is, do we need protection while we're doing it? We should go look. I don't know. So it might not be a bad investment to have. Let's go look. We're back. We've done some thinking, some researching. Ah! It's my Halloween costume, duh. Nice, way to think ahead. We're gonna do this. And you guys could think, this kid's a wussy. But here's the deal. I got stuff I gotta get done tomorrow. I don't have time We'd to We'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm putting on the marshmallow outfit and we got something that we're not proud of, but we're gonna try. Here we go. This is hornet killer, hornet and wasp killer. We uh, still don't know what they are, so this should take care of both of them. Yeah, our image from earlier was, so I can't really tell, although we're pretty confident they're a wasp. This stuff foams. Called my sister who deals with this regularly because she's an arborist and she said get the foaming kind. 10-4 sister. She said she we keeps about five to six of these babies in her car. They take down about five to six nests a summer yep. and they just stand far away. They don't use any special protection. Spray away and she said it could take three or four rounds of it. So I don't know that this will be a done deal tonight. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna start the process. We only bought one beekeeping suit and it's not my size. So that's justification to let Jesse do it. I've heard that if you're trying to hook up with the bee ladies. Oh, run around on one of those? Oh yeah, I could totally see that working. This what really gets them. You How can, you doing ladies? You can keep my bees any day. <laughs> Hey ladies, you got any bees you need me to keep? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Can't you tell? You know what usually happens when I wear a one piece? Oh, we don't need to share what happens when you wear a onesie. Oof, better be careful. Boy, I don't have much movement in this thing. Okay, I think, I think I'm ready. It's my job to be moral support. This, I, 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 it's my hope that this is like no biggie deal. It's Just a little wasp spray. Bees or wasps are gone. But it could also not be. 
because we watched YouTube videos that freaked us out. Our plan is this guy with our zoom lens, this is gonna be focused on the nest, and then I will be filming what Jesse's doing. And I'm gonna put that long sleeve shirt on just in case. We can't be like normal people that have a nest you know, on the roof overhang or anything like that. It has to be like right smack in the middle of a 16 by 16 hot tub deck. I think I'm back a safe distance. Jesse's gonna set the camera because he's prepared. <laughs> Boy, there is a ton of them too. Wow. Yeah, they're totally coming out the top of the hot tub deck too. Everyone be like, do it at night. They're sleeping. You can get like right up to the nest. Nope, not our experience. The vicious attack happened last night at 10 p.m. I'm ready to do this, said no one ever. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh my god, it just fell off. Nope, that was the foam. Oh wow. I definitely like the foam for this. So far it's uneventful, but now they're getting excited. I wonder if they're all trying to escape because the foam keeps like falling down or dripping. Oh, I see that. And every time that happens, like a bunch of them fall out. We're definitely going to need two cans. Keeps falling off the entrance. Uh-oh, we're at it. We're empty. Think we just let this cook for a little bit? I don't know. They're definitely falling out. Boy, I don't know. There's a bunch of them and they're letting the pheromones out for sure. Like I saw one like waving its butt. It's letting everybody know to get excited. There's probably, I don't know, 10 of them or so buzzing around down there trying to find a way in. They're not like falling over dead, that's for sure. So much for like yep. instantly stops them. Entrapping foam stops wasps, in wasps instantly. If you want to give me one of those long boards, I'll see if I can just pop it open. Okay. What's hard is once you open it, it might fall. Yeah. And it'll be on the ground. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll work good. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely wet though. So that's good. Hopefully the brood is killed too, so hopefully. All right, let's have dinner. Uneventful, non-dramatic YouTube wasp removal. Actually, what I'd like to think is that's probably how it should be done. Not with shotguns and flamethrowers and drones and... Where do I send the invoice? <laughs> That's it guys. I sprayed those yellow jackets so you probably should not hang around there too oh, long. Okay. Now what? I don't have my beekeeping suit on. Uh -oh. We got to run. Uh -oh. It's time to eat dinner. That's it guys. Back to the house build. <laughs> we didn't know if this would be exciting or not, but I think this is part of living in the country. You have to deal with stuff like this. Yeah. It's not an it's not inconvenient times. So, there we go. I guess this might not be the end. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm alive, you're alive. And I think Tomorrow, I'll go up there and get the water bottles. <laughs> yeah, I went to that tonight. I'm not afraid of hornets or wasps or anything like that, but not after you do that to their nest. Yeah. Can you imagine if somebody came to our house and just like, <laughs> and like jabbed it with a stick? No, please, I hope that never happens. I'd probably be like, knock it off! Back to normalcy on our YouTube oh, yeah. channel. All right, see ya, gonna go eat dinner. Wait, huh. we forgot to nuke these guys. I'm not a fan of spraying, but there's a couple of nests right there. See them? Those ones. You guys, tomorrow, you're going away. <laughs>